Okay, sit, don't change. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. I'm 10 News Meteorologist Megan Perry, here with my three little doggies, who are the loves of my life. This is Baby. He's the grumpy old man. <laughs> this is Coco, Coco Chanel Sprinkles. She is the one that volunteers at the Standing Humane Society with me. It's my favorite picture of her. <laughs> and this is Dolce Dior. Loves to play, loves to play chase, very rambunctious. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. So the sweetest, my princess, and the grumpy old man. <laughs> Love. <laughs> The way people look at a baby and get so excited and want to hold it and just like run up to it and just, I feel that way about dogs. And so that, I think that's the best way I can explain it. He's so cute, my little baby pumpkins. I would not put it past me to one day live on a farm somewhere with a bunch of dogs that needed to be saved. I, I think I would love that. <laughs> I don't think my husband would be down for that, but I think I could convince him. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I have always loved dogs. They've always been my favorite animal. They're always so happy to see you, and they give you unconditional love. No matter how hard your day was, they don't care. They love you, and they're gonna love you. All right, so we're headed to the Behavior Center of the San Diego Humane Society. Uh, I go do this maybe a couple times a month, sometimes a little bit more. It's been, I think, coming up on four years. Yeah. I love volunteering because I love interacting with the dogs in particular. Uh, you know, they're in, a, they're in a cage a lot of the day. <laughs> oh, big bark, big bark. It's socialization for them and honestly, it's therapy for me. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love you so much already. And this is why I want to leave with every dog that we meet. <laughs> We'll take pictures with the dog. Those pictures will get posted on the Singing Humane Society website. And then I also post those pictures on my social media platforms and uh, pages. You're so cute. <laughs> and it kind of helps with showing these dogs with people. You know, it kind of makes them, humanizes them a little bit. So these are the type of dogs that are here sometimes because, you know, technically it's a behavior issue. She just needs to be socialized. Even just us being in here and getting her that, you know, that connection of just being around other people, it actually helps them. My favorite thing is when they, they ask us to pet the puppies because the puppies need socializing. I'm like, give me a puppy, give me a puppy. <laughs> You're doing good for these animals that are just so loving and so innocent and so, they, they just give you such unconditional love. They deserve their happy ending and if I can help in that or at least give them a little bit of a respite from their day in the shelter and a day in a cage, then that makes me happy. Oh my goodness, I can't even with you right now. You are so cute. Now that you've seen a little bit about my life and my love of rescue animals, especially dogs, I really hope the next time that you're considering getting a pet that you will consider adopting. There are so many different organizations besides the San Diego Humane Society here in San Diego so you can find the perfect one for you. And if you can't adopt, maybe consider volunteering with me. <laughs> I love you guys. I got lipstick on, baby. <laughs> <laughs>